In one room, you meet FIA Deadbed Companion is a woman wearing a black wrap dress like a funeral widow. She offers to give you a hug to feel the warmth of a warrior. You also meet DA Tarnished specializing in hunting zombies, Dung Eater A Knight with scary appearance with pimples all over his body and Corin A Monk of the Order of Two Fingers. They all have their own purposes and actions that are not aimed at the Elden Ring like you. You return to the round table hold and meet FIA again. She asks you to help find the owner of a special dagger to return it. When passing by carrying a knife D's place he recognized it. D says he knows who the owner of the knife is and asks you to let him help with a little quest. Without a doubt, you immediately left the knife and went out to do some work. When you return, you suddenly find FIA who killed D. She said goodbye and left the round table hold. It seems that FIA's purpose in coming here is to find the owner of the knife and kill him. It was D, the zombie hunter, who discovered and brought curse mark of death on Godwin's body and stored it in the round table hold. You decide to go find FIA to clarify everything. Follow the underground sewer system below the capital Landel, you find your way down to the deepest roots of Erdtree. Although it is the root of the magic tree, it is an extremely dark and stagnant area, the air is almost thick. After defeating those who were protecting FIA, the two finally had a clear conversation. FIA says she's the guardian of the undead, who are living in death. Putting aside that annoying problem, you still persisted in going all the way to find her, which is a favor that FIA greatly appreciates. FIA also asks you to help find the other half of the curse mark of death to match with the piece she recovered from the roundtable hold. At this point, you suddenly remember the item picked up by Runney's corpse on the top of the tower. Everything is clear, this mark appeared when the first demigod was killed. However, at that time, up to two demigods died at the same time, so the mark was divided into two. This was part of Runney's plan as she orchestrated the destruction on her body by stealing the rune of death then killing a demigod. When she dies, both body and soul will be released, so at the same time, so that Godwin's body remain intact, only the soul is lost. As for Runney, the body is destroyed but the soul still exists. The Lord of the Conspiracy then began to use the form of a doll to induce people to continue with her plan. Apparently Runney was quite successful, Godwin's body lost its soul and became a zombie, and was hunted by D, who took the curse mark of death to bring back the roundtable hold. FIA, who is a guardian of the undead, realizes that the most important member she is protecting is the undead demigod Godwin killed and robbed of the mark, so she pursues revenge. Everything is clear so you decide to give half of Runney's mark to FIA, who then falls asleep. You go to her side to sleep with her to enter the dream of Godwin and fight the dragon lich dragon Fortisax who was Godwin's friend guarding his corpse. After defeating the dragon, you wake up and realize that the two marks have been merged into one, and that is the mending rune of the death prince.